Hi there, Liz Tomey here from DFYSocialMarketingContent.com and I've been getting a lot of people asking me to explain my Pinterest marketing strategy so I wanted to take a few minutes today and do a video explaining it because it's so much easier to explain via video. Now if you haven't gone through my Pinterest traffic takeover video or I'm sorry traffic overview uh, video and you don't know how Pinterest works to get traffic then you're going to want to watch that video first okay um if you understand how pinterest works to get your get you traffic then you're ready for my strategy are you ready here it is i pin each piece of content i create over and over again using different pin images yep that's it okay there's more that goes into it but this is my strategy in a nutshell i pin um, each piece of content over and over again and i just switch out the pin images and that's okay to do on Pinterest okay now don't get me wrong I'm continually creating new content at least one new piece of content a week but that's not the only thing I'm pinning I mean that would only give me one pin a week if I were just pinning um, my content one time and you can't get a lot of traffic with just one pin a week unless you pin every pin you create or if every pin you create just takes off and goes viral little secret that doesn't happen so here is what I do so I'm currently working on building a brand over at let's go over here to it done for you social marketing content.com so where my squeeze pages the blog is at um, DFY social marketing content.com forward slash blog okay um, I have a blog here and I'm posting content content to it that points to things that make me money this is content marketing and I use Pinterest to get traffic to this content. So I would post this on Pinterest. People would come here, they'd be like, oh, look, the Pinterest traffic takeover workshop. Let me go buy that. I would make money, okay? That's the ideal here. Um, so each day is what I do is I create three pin images for random posts on my blog, okay? So here's you know some of the, po the recent posts on my blog. So I pick three random posts and I create three pin images. And I pin them all to the boards on my Pinterest profile that are related to the content. Yes, you can pin multiple, pin your content to multiple boards on your Pinterest account, and you should. So, if we go here and look, this is about. So this one is about five steps, five step system for pre-pinning on Pinterest. So this one is related to social media marketing. Um, this is special content from Done for You Social or DFY social marketing content.com. It's related to Pinterest. It's related to affiliate marketing. It's related to blogging. It's related to content creation and content marketing. So I would put them in all of those. Okay. Um, now if I have something specific, I want to promote, for example, I'm doing a content campaign to promote something. I would be more strategic and do multiple pins for that content campaign. But normal day-to-day -day traffic generation, I'm just picking posts at random and doing pins for those posts, or just rotate them. I put them, I call it my pin rotation. Now, this might sound like a lot of pin image creation, and it is. So you can do a few things to save yourself some time. Um, I have used templates, and I've also um, gotten people over at Fiverr to do stuff for me, okay? If you can find people selling Pinterest templates, grab them if you like them, okay? They're all over the internet. Um, Canva and Snappa both have a ton of templates built into them. Um, there's other social image creator sites out there too that also have Pinterest templates. And of course, like I said, you can outsource your pin image creation on sites like Fiverr. Um, just go search for um, pin image creation over there, okay? All right, so let's put this into a system. First, gather um, your content and create three to five different optimized descriptions for each piece of content. So we're going to go here to my monthly Pinterest pins DFY social marketing content. This is just a spreadsheet I built, okay? Um, so I've opened this up. Here's, you know, the one piece of content from there. Here's three different descriptions. Here's the text that's going to be on my pins. Now I'm going to do this for every um, piece of content that I have, okay? Um, next, open up your Google Calendar, or if you're a pen and paper kind of person, grab a planner and plan out each day's pins. I do three, so I just randomly 
pick three. So I am planning right now my calendar. This is just my Pinterest calendar. If you guys look over here, if I turn all this on, it would be, it's crazy. That's why I look at it day by day because <laughs> I have a lot that I do. But this is just my Pinterest stuff, okay? So I have here pin nine fast content ideas, pin my five-step system, pin resources for getting, and this is all listed on this page, okay? So then I would go to day two, and I would enter the pins that I'm going to do here. So I would go, so I have that, that would be the second pin on that first day, the third pin, then I would do this one, this one, and this one on the second day. Plan that out, go to the next day, go three more, one, two, three. Get all that done. Now I still have to put in all my descriptions and text for pins for all of these too, but you guys get the idea here, okay? Um, now once you do this, every day, you just go to your calendar and go, okay, what am I supposed to be pinning today? And I'm gonna pin this, this, and this, and they're all three gonna go to multiple boards with the same image, that's fine. Um, when you want to switch images is when you're pinning it again to Facebook, or I mean, uh, to Pinterest, okay? So like these, I already have pins for them, so I'm gonna have to have new um, images created for these, because you don't wanna be pinning the same image too close together. You can reuse your pins. I would reuse them, you know, only like twice in a month, if that. Um, maybe just use, you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna pin, like for me, if I was gonna pin nine fast content ideas you can use to create pins on Pinterest, I wouldn't use that same, pin every single day. I might use, you know, the, a pin today. And then maybe in a few weeks, I would use that same image. You wanna be rotating, you wanna be getting new images constantly here, okay? Now, you might not have enough content to fill up every day. And currently, because my site is new, I only have 13 pieces of content on my blog at the time of this video. So if I divide that by three, because I do three posts a day, that's only like, Mm, so three, six, nine, that's only four days worth of content with an extra piece of content left over, okay? So as time goes on, I'll have more and more content and we'll be able to fill up my calendar. There's, let's say, an average of 30 days in a month, so to meet my three pins a day, I would need 90 pieces of content. Don't flip out on me, okay? There's so many things you can do to quickly create content, but I'll save that for another video because we're about to run out of time here today. But... I could do this, so let's say I only, have, I only have my 12 pieces of content. Let's go and look at this month by month. So I only have four days. So maybe this first week I post all that content and then I skip a week and then I post all that content again. Then I skip a week and I post all that content again. You can post it as often as you want. Just remember, change out those images, okay? Um, Pinterest wants to see new pins, new pin images, okay? For now though, use what I've taught you here. Keep up with your content, like I've shown you in this spreadsheet, and create your own Pinterest marketing strategy that fits for you. Just keep making content, okay? This is, this is like a, a snowball effect. You start out small and little, and each day, each week, each month, it just gets bigger and bigger until you're eventually pinning 20 to 30 pins a day that are all yours, okay? You've got to start somewhere though, and the best time to start is right now. So this is my personal um, Pinterest strategy. Let's go back here. Get all my content, get, two, get three to five descriptions for them, um, get a couple of pins done for them. Make sure you're changing the wording on your pins, the design of your pins. I'm gonna do this for every post and I'm just going to rotate this. I just wanna randomly pick three posts a day unless I'm doing a campaign, okay? All right, so I have many more tactics and strategies to teach you about using Pinterest um, to get traffic. I have you know quick content creation and quick pins that you can do. Um, there is, very easy ways to create nice short little pins that lead to like squeeze pages or sales pages and stuff like that. You don't always have to be creating, you know, blog posts. You can pin anything you want on Pinterest. So there's lots of tactics and strategies um, that I can teach you about Pinterest, okay? All you have to do 
is get on my Pinterest traffic resources and tips list at dfysocialmarketingcontent.com forward slash Pinterest and you'll get access to all of it. All right. I wish you much success on your Pinterest marketing journey.